Good evening, good evening, welcome. Good evening. How are you today? Um, not too well, teacher, but it's okay. Okay, very nice. Trying to survive as always. Yeah, but the most important thing is today is Friday and doesn't matter what happened. Tomorrow <laughs> I'm going to rest. Yes, okay. So tomorrow you're going to have a free day. Exactly. Very nice. So what happened is that today you have no party because you have to be in class, right? <laughs> Yes, exactly. But it's okay because I don't have so much time to do it. Oh, okay, very nice. So you, you don't get accustomed to do that? Of course, I usually did. But <laughs> yeah, the, the point is that in, in this point of my life, I am trying to get, like, organize something, some, some things in my life. So this is one of them. So I have to like pretty sad. Yes. Uh, you 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 tell like what you think is the most important thing for you. Exactly, exactly. So I have to focus in one thing at the at the time. And this is one of the things that I have to focus on. So maybe the party will be when I get everything I want. Mm. Okay, very nice, good, excellent. We're going to start, we're just waiting for the rest of the students to start, okay? Give me a second. Okay, well, I just have two students. What happened with the rest of the students? They it's, took vacation. <laughs> it's a uh, Friday, teacher. <laughs> it's and, like, where the amigo, pero en viernes. <laughs> so they forgot the class and they took the Friday as a day off. <laughs> if you remember, teacher, the last Wednesday, after the uh, uh before the vacation we have the same uh, scenario <laughs> yes yes there were some students that were almost um waiting for the time to rest because they were waiting the 15. <laughs> we only um have eight so let yeah. ocho yeah, mm -hmm. we were just eight students, and almost all the students were just as listener, not active. Right? Okay, yeah. Here we have Carlos getting connected. So, Debbie yeah. and you. How was your day, teacher? Oh, good, because today I rest. Well, I had a meeting, but um, I rest. I went to buy some stuff with the family. I, I took advantage of the day. Nice. And tomorrow you, you will rest too? No, I work on oh. Saturdays. Oh. But at the middle of the day or all the day? Until four. Oh my God. The light is gone.
Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, I don't know how much time I can stand with the class because my laptop is a full charge. Well, my battery is not working without uh, if if the computer is not plugged. Okay. Mm, well, I don't know if you answered the last question that I did, but I don't hear you anymore. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Yes, um, and I don't know if in your place, if the light's gone. No. It's normally. Well, in my case, I'm not using uh, internet. I'm using a cell phone with that. Mm, okay, so okay. I, I, I don't notice that. So you didn't notice that the light has gone? No, because even if the light goes on, I'm using my cell phone, so. Mm. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, very nice. Um, well, I had to wait for uh, the information because I had to take the attendance list, but I don't know if my computer is going to be able to, I have just 32%. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. I'm invisible right, right now. Yes, you are, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you can you can hear me. That's the most important thing. And now we 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 are eight. Yeah, we're eight. Uh, Flor, good evening. Teacher, where are you? Um, eh, estoy, estoy y no estoy. <laughs> you are a ghost. <laughs> yeah, estoy supervisando nada más la clase y no se, puede, puedo estar a la par de ustedes y no se van a dar cuenta. <laughs> Dios santo. <laughs> ok, um, el, la cosa es que se fue la energía y normalmente siempre es corta el tiempo, ¿verdad? pero mi computadora últimamente se me ha dañado, no funciona mucho si no es cargada. Eh, no me pasa el 32% cuando la conecto, entonces no sé qué tanto me dure la, la carga de la computadora y si viene la luz, pues creo que la volvemos a hacer, ¿verdad? pero si no, pues no sé tendremos que esperar a ver hasta dónde aguante, no sé a ver, teacher, que ahora no tenían que haber clases ayer, le dijimos <risa> exactly <risa> bueno, pero como ahí no es cuestión mía sino que ya eh, El decreto lo aprobaron muy tarde. Siempre lo aprueban ya cuando no llueve. <risa> Todo tiene solución, teacher. Todo tiene solución, sí. Y siempre digo, voy a comprar una batería, porque con la batería no hay problema, queda la carga ahí y no funciona, ¿va? Or we can have more rest. <risa> Actually, it's not that you're going to have more rest. Eh, <risa> lo que, you're going to, like... Um, yeah, we, we're going to have another day uh, in the class for the next, uh, for the final weeks. That's what happened. Uh, yeah, because uh, you told us about, no, in the chat. Yes, in the chat was that they told us about the classes were expected to the 10 and 11, I remember. Yeah, yeah. So, um, no, it's something normal, right? Okay, I'm gonna take the attendance list, okay? Before we leave, we're gonna take the attendance list. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuera. Present. Very nice. Aminta Rene Figueroa de Manzano. Belén Batre Garcia. Present teacher. Very nice. Carlos William Mandreño Núñez. <laughs> Debbie Yasmin Giron Ramírez. Present. Very nice. Domingo Alexander González. Ever de Jesús Candre Montano. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda.
Mariano José Pacas. Permítame un momento, permítame, permítame. Ok, um, vamos a esperar, ojalá que regrese la energía para mientras. Uh, esperamos, vamos a uh, talk about something else. Me quedé con Oscar Anufo Vietor Herrera, ahí nos vamos a quedar. Si la luz, si la energía regresa, entonces vamos a, a continuar la clase. Si no, pues vamos a ver qué se puede hacer por el hecho de que no, no tengo la suficiente carga en, en la computer. Okay. Well, you cannot see me, but you can listen to me. That's good. <laughs> so, awesome. I'm a ghost. Be careful with me. Okay, very nice. Okay, how was your day, Rosibel? Good evening, Teacher, welcome. the attendance. You didn't finish. No, uh, we have to wait. Vamos a esperar porque ah. si... Si no, okay. bien, si no regresa pronto, no creo que la, la batería aguanta más de 20, 30 minutos. Entonces, ah, okay. la, la clase prácticamente quedaría para que ustedes descansen. Yes. It is what it is, teacher. Yes. It is what it is. Pero lo, lo que pasa es que se nos prolonga una, un tiempo más, ¿verdad? Teacher is right, then the body Don't worry, knows. don't worry, teacher. It's right. It's, it's, it's good news, it's good news. Ah, oh, good news, okay. Yeah. Good news. Y, y Carlos dice que es Friday, dice. Yeah, yeah, teacher. It's Friday. Entonces, lo que tenemos que hacer para que los Fridays sean libres, tenemos que trabajar tres horas el martes y tres horas el jueves para que vengamos con todas las energías. No, teacher. <laughs> No, tampoco, te no abuse. Tampoco abusemos. De... <risa> si es más temprano, tal vez, pero más tarde. Ah, no. yeah. Ah, yeah. Vaya, vaya, ya dijo. Vaya. Baby. Apoyo la música. O sea que empecemos desde las 5 hasta las. Diez, vaya. No, teacher, desde <risa> las ocho. Desde las siete. <risa> siete a las siete, ocho, no, a las diez. A las la tres horas. Ah, vaya, vaya. No, ¿Y por qué no empezamos desde la mañana? Pues vaya, para que saquemos el curso en un solo día. No, en, en una semana lo sacamos así. <risa> ok, very nice. Um, how was your day, Rosibel? How was it? Okay. Uh, this day I work. I work mm -hmm. in my home. Ah, you work from mm -hmm. home. Yeah. Okay. In my home, and usually Friday we we end the the job the job mm -hmm. at uh, one whole p.m. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I have most more time for for rest, so some some things or do some things more different. Uh, the work. Good, good. And is my is what my my day this day, this Friday. Okay, this Friday your Friday was like that. Yeah. Okay, very nice, Carlos. What about you? How was your Friday? Carlos.
Belen, how was your, your day? Um, well, teacher, not too well, but it's okay. Um, the same as always. But like I said before, it doesn't matter what happened today because today is Friday and tomorrow is the rest, the day off. So uh, it's okay. Okay, very nice, excellent. Oh, ya vino. Good. <laughs> okay, very nice. Okay, very nice. Hoy oh, sí. Estábamos así, nos quedamos así de suspender la clase. <laughs> A las ocho y veinte, mire, tiene poder eh, el tiempo, ¿va? porque a las ocho y veinte, si no venía, nos íbamos. Y en Alda Cruz, say, oh no. Y, y solo el teacher dijo, yes. Lo que pasa es que a su. Sí, es bueno, ¿verdad? porque descansamos, pero eh, al atrasarnos una clase, toca reponer y nos vamos alargando y nos vamos alargando y alargando. Se traba, teacher. ¿Ah? Se le Se traba. No lo vemos ni escuchamos. No lo vemos ni escuchamos. Bye, ya son las 8 y 20. Bye. Okay. 8 y 21. Bye, teacher. Todavía se puede. Vamos a esperar, creo que es lo que está cambiando al otro, al otro Wi-Fi. ¿Me escuchan bien? The recording has... ¿Y hoy? ¿Me escuchan? Hello, hello. Oh. <laughs> yes. No le escuchamos, teacher. Yes, I am. <laughs> se, se escucha borroso, digan ustedes. Copioso, <laughs> copioso. <laughs> ok, yo creo que ustedes están haciendo, están, están rogando, están haciendo oraciones, penitencias para que la clase se suspenda. ¿va? Hello. Hello, teacher. Usted, Hello, again. Ustedes están haciendo la cibe y le están haciendo. No, a... teacher. ¿Qué están haciendo ustedes? Que hasta crazy está la computadora, crazy está eh, el internet. <laughs> Is the destiny, teacher? <laughs> ah, destiny. Ah, okay, the destiny. Okay. <laughs> Very nice, ok. Ahora sí creo que ya estamos. Creo que ya no hay falla. Vamos a continuar con donde me quedé con la asistencia. Me quedé con Oscar, les dije, ¿verdad? Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Rosibel del Carmen López. Present. Very nice. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Sonia Ivette Alvarenga. Present. Very nice. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present. Very nice. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Very nice. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. ¿Alguien de los que están conectados que no haya mencionado? Todo. Ok, very nice. Ok. Hoy sí vamos a arrancar. En nombre de Dios, que ya no vaya a estar fallando. Ok. Very good. So, yesterday we worked with a topic which was uh, about simple present, right? Do you remember? 
we worked with simple present, simple past, sorry. We work with simple past and we were talking about uh, how to use it in different ways, right? Okay, excellent. So today I brought some presentations about simple past in order to be like uh, ready to talk about something about simple past, okay? So I'm gonna show you the presentations in order to uh, uh, let you know how to use it, okay? Well, not because you already uh, learned yesterday, but uh, what I want you is to take some tips that we need in order to make some sentences, okay? So right now I'm gonna share um, a, a share, uh, PowerPoint presentation in order to uh, check what is the things that you need to use, okay? Ready? Okay, me escuchan, verdad? Yes, now yes. Okay, very nice. Me escuchan, students, me escuchan. Ahorita sí, teacher. Oh my God. Yes. Voy a utilizar la cámara apagada porque no sé si eh, creo que el internet, el wifi está mal, entonces voy a utilizar los datos y con los datos poco me levanto. Quizás por lo mismo de la uh -huh. de lo que no, no había, no, no está muy fuerte ahorita, ¿verdad? Ok, so we're going to talk about simple past tense, right? Which is um, something that we need to take care of and to be like really careful on it, okay? Uh, yesterday, we made some explanations about how to use it. Today, we're going to give an, an extra explanation, okay? Okay, what do you remember about yesterday that we talked about simple past? About the answers mm -hmm. of the question that we use with this, the auxiliary this, that we don't have to use the this. And the positive answers and the affirmative answers. Okay, very nice. We use simple past, right? In order to make sentences um, with uh, questions and, and use did. And in negative, we use did, but in affirmative, we don't use need, right? We exactly. just use uh, the very past. And what happened with the birds that we talk about? We have two kind of verbs. Which ones are there? See, it's infinity when we talk about negative past. Okay, infinity or in the base form, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, according to your question, teacher, is the regulars and the irregular verbs. Very nice. We have regular and irregular verbs. Very good, awesome. Okay, and what happened with the regulars? We have uh, rules to to add uh, ed for some cases. Okay, we, we add ed in some cases in the regulars, right? And what happened with another kind of verbs that we have? 
same in the in the regulars or the other one? So yes, I'm talking about the kind of verb that we have in the past. Well, um, in the in the regular verbs, we have also another rule about the pronunciation. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, because in some cases the pronunciation is with ed, uh, id, and also with t, and also with d. Okay, very nice. Good, good. So remember, we have those kind of verbs in order to work with, uh, in order this tense, which is simple past, to talk about activities that we finish in the past. Okay, so that's what we have here. Okay, I don't know if you, Walter, can you please read this part that you can uh, read right now? Of course. Uh, we use simple past tense to express or to express an activity complete in the past. Completed. Completed. In the past. Yes. Do you remember yesterday when we talk about um, uh, the pronunciation of the verbs? So when we talk about uh, the ending of T and D, we pronounce it, right? Completed. Completed. Okay, very nice. It says okay. we use simple past tense to talk or to express an activity completed in the past. As I told you before, yesterday, we use this one. Utilizamos esto para hablar de actividades que han sido completadas totalmente en el pasado. ¿Verdad? Ya no continúan en el presente ni en el futuro, sino que fueron completadas en el pasado totalmente. Ok. Y luego tenemos ¿verdad? las affirmative sentence, negative sentence, and interrogative sentence. So we have two times of them, right? Very nice. Okay. Then we have these ones. Okay. Here we have some examples. Can you please, um, Vanessa, read this first group? Okay. They went to a school. They did not go to school. Did they go to school? They went to school. Very good. They did not go to school. Did they go to school? Very nice. Awesome. So we have this kind of verbs in order to talk about past. Y que tenemos solo en el primer grupo, ¿verdad? In the first group is the part that we have the pros of the verbs. When we have auxiliaries, the verb is in a normal way, right? No. Hello, hello, can you listen to me? Yes. Okay. Yes, right now. Okay, very oh, nice. I apologize. Sincerely apologize for the situation, but thanks God, uh, it's fixable. Okay. Entonces, uh, cuando nosotros trabajamos con este tiempo de pasado simple, ¿verdad? Lo trabajamos para hablar de lo que es pasado totalmente. Y solo llevamos el verbo en pasado en la primera parte de la oración. Very nice. Tenemos la siguiente. Vamos a ver uh, si me ayuda a leerla. Debbie. Which one, teacher? He. Ok. His one. He didn't swim. Did he swim? Where did he swim?
Okay, he swam, he didn't swim. Did he swim? Where did he swim? Good. Tenemos esta, ¿verdad? He swam, he didn't swim. Did he swim? Where did he swim? Y si ustedes se fijan, acá tenemos la WH question, ¿verdad? WH question works. Nosotros podemos utilizar con este tiempo las preguntas de sí y no. En este caso, cuando solamente utilizamos el did, directamente estamos haciendo una pregunta de sí y no, ¿verdad? Pero cuando ya le agregamos una WH question, nosotros ya hacemos una pregunta más puntual. O sea, yo tengo algo, ¿qué es lo que quiero saber? Más directo, por ejemplo, where, when, what time, ¿verdad? Who, who with, right? Ya ahí yo hago preguntas más puntuales en que se han pasado, pero quiero saber dónde, cuándo, cómo, qué horas y con quién, ¿verdad? O quién. Entonces, yo puedo utilizar todo esto con lo que es el pasado simple. Very nice. Ahora, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos, por ejemplo, un ejemplo. Un ejemplo. What did they do yesterday? Miren. Y tenemos el do como verbo y el did como auxiliar. What did they do yesterday? What did they do yesterday? Y acá tenemos la respuesta. They ate an ice cream. They ate an ice cream. Very good. Ok. Acá ya la pregunta es, ya, la respuesta ya no puede ser sí o no, ¿verdad? Porque ya llevamos una WH. Entonces acá ya preguntamos algo más puntual. Y por eso acá están respondiendo qué fue lo que hicieron, qué fue el eat ice cream, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. Aquí están unas palabras importantes que si, si gustan las pueden anotar, ¿verdad? Son keywords in order to talk about simple past. Ya con que utilicemos el did, ya se sabe que estamos hablando de pasado. Pero cuando tenemos yesterday, last week, last night, two days ago, on Saturday, last week, etc., ya estamos haciendo más fuerte la expresión todavía en pasado. Teacher. Creo que le sale mejor suspenderla. Va a estar así. Definitely. Pero el teacher es aferrado. Hello, hello. No, usted, 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 ustedes siguen haciendo oración, ¿verdad? Teacher, no diga eso. This is a message from the universe. <risa> Ustedes están haciendo, tienen alguna candelita ahí, están pidiéndole, ¿verdad? Que hasta ya, yo creo que ya se terminó la candela. Que Bruja nos está clase, diciendo. Bruja, Bruja nos está diciendo, teacher. <risa> no, es que la oración no por ser brujas, bueno, bueno. están pidiendo. <risa> No, usted dijo una candelita, eso ya es brujería, dicho. No, si sí, hay gente que utiliza candelitas para la oración en, en buen sentido. ¿O van a decir que no? Ser brujas sí, también es bueno. No. No, como no, si se usan velas es? para la oración. Sí, se usan velas para la oración. La luz, la luz también, en términos, eh, digamos, de, la, de lo que nosotros hablamos religioso, ¿verdad? Eh, la luz sí tiene un buen significado. Ya ven que soy religioso también. <risa> y también tiene más significado para los que lo utilizan de otra manera, pero ya eso es diferente. <risa> ok, very nice. Ok, entonces les decía que cuando tenemos este tipo de expresiones, nosotros hacemos más fuerte eh, lo que es el tiempo, que lo que estamos hablando lo especificamos más aún si fue el ayer si fue la semana pasada, si fue la noche anterior, si fue hace dos días, si fue el sábado o la semana pasada, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. Entonces, con esto, eh, yo tengo más datos para poder hablar exactamente con el pasado. Hasta aquí, ¿alguna question? No. Ok. Yes, teacher, what? Ah, ok, yes, why, yes, yes. Was, why on Saturday is talking about past? Ok, en este caso ahí está un ejemplo 
eh, con Saturday. Ahí puede ser cualquier día de la semana. Pero en este caso, tiene que ser referente un día. Si yo estoy, digo Saturday, o sea que estoy hablando de que estoy hablando hoy, hoy que es domingo, o hoy lunes, que el sábado que pasado, ¿verdad? Hice esto. O sea, si yo digo, I ate uh, uh, fish on Wednesday, obviamente estoy especificando que fue el, el miércoles pasado, ¿verdad? Porque ya utilizo el did. Ok, acá, I, I, I think in, in my mind, for example, the last Monday, I, I eat pizza. Yes, the last Monday. I can say to I can say to on Monday a pizza. On Monday, yes. Yes, on Monday I ate pizza. También. Is the same uh, for for months also? Yes, también para los meses, ¿verdad? Pero claro, eso se identifica a través del contexto, ¿verdad? A través del contexto, o sea, si si yo hago una oración así en forma general, eh, quizás no tenga mucho sentido porque Digamos, no conozco el contexto, pero digamos que estoy hablando ahorita con ustedes y yo digo que el jueves, on Thursday, aunque yo sé que es ayer y pude, pude haber dicho yesterday, pero si digo on Thursday, I went to the river, por ejemplo. Ok, ustedes ya tienen claro que estoy hablando de, de este jueves que pasó, ¿verdad? Porque ya utilizo el went, ya utilizo el verbo en pasado. Diferente fuera que dijera... I will go to the river on Wednesday. Ahí estoy asegurando que es la otra semana, ¿verdad? por el mismo tiempo. Por eso es que le mencionaba ayer que es importante aprendernos los auxiliares que lleva cada tiempo. Porque ahí de esa manera nosotros identificamos en la conversación. ¿Another question? No, sí, da igual. Ok. Vamos a ver acá. Acá tenemos estas cinco imágenes. Le voy a dar un tiempo para que ustedes analicen cuál puede ser la oración correcta para eh, a utilizar esa oración, ¿verdad? De esa manera. Tenemos esta, 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 este y este. Que le voy a dar chance ahorita para que piensen qué oración podemos hacer, ¿ok? Y luego les pregunto. Sorry, teacher, I don't hear the last. Hello? No escuché lo que dijo, teacher, sorry. Ok, tenemos estas cinco imágenes. Ahorita ustedes véanlas y piensen qué oración pueden hacer para cada una. Y ya ahorita les voy a decir yo cuál es la oración que tenemos, ¿verdad? Vamos a analizar. ¿Ya están ready? ¿Ya las tienen? Yes, yes. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, very nice. Para la number one, ¿cuál sería para la number one? For me, mm -hmm. uh, it could be, for example, he worked uh, all the week, for example. I don't know. He worked? Last week. Last week. Oh, okay, but right that's good. Okay. Aquí podemos casi hacer varias. En esa imagen podemos hacer varias. ¿Qué otra podríamos hacer? The man made a flow. The man made a floor. Okay, very nice. Yvette, yes? Mm, I did fix my floor. Okay, he fixed my floor. Okay. Right? Okay. okay, very nice. Good. Vamos a ver. Los demás. He, he... Did mantenance the floor? He? He did 
The maintenance. Okay, the he did a maintenance. Maintenance, right? Okay, he did a maintenance in the floor. Of the floor, very good, excellent, very nice. Okay, let's go with a second one. Uh, Somebody uh, boy bought in the supermarket. Somebody bought in the supermarket. Okay, ahí le puedo poner un nombre, va. Miguel, I went Luis. to shopping. I went to shopping. I went shopping. Okay, very nice. Awesome. She went to the market with her husband the last week. Okay, she went to the market with her husband last week. Very good. Awesome. And I went to the supermarket uh, yesterday. I went to the supermarket yesterday. Very good. Excellent. Okay, good. Vamos con la siguiente. This image. The sentence that we can make here. He drove a yellow car. He drove car a yellow ha, car, good. Ha, ¿Qué otra? The car had a tow. <laughs> The car had a tongue. Uh, yes, we bien, <laughs> excellent. Good, good, very nice. He worked in Uber. <laughs> he worked as a Uber. Okay, very nice. <laughs> we bien, excellent. What else? He bought a yellow car. <laughs> Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, que no puedo escuchar bien. He bought a yellow car. Okay, he bought a yellow car. Very nice. Good. Excellent. Okay. Vamos con la siguiente. The last one. No, no, no es, no es la last one. Es la, la, la del kid, ¿verdad? The child painted yesterday. The child paint yesterday, right? Okay, very nice. ¿Qué, qué más podemos hacer ahí? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí, vamos a la the child. No, no sé qué sería. The parents of the child took a video of him painting yes took a bit of him paint, painting or took a picture right uh -huh. oh yeah took a picture yeah okay very nice yes debbie what do you say debbie okay como sería bueno que hizo una travesura oh yes the child made, <laughs> made. a tricky a tricky moment <laughs> yes okay. i have okay. another Okay, yes. Uh, the child paints uh, his room. The child paints his room. Okay. Very nice. Good. Excellent. What else? Okay. Vamos con la siguiente. The last one. Oh, I see the last one. ¿Cuál tenemos en la last one? ¿Cuál podemos hacer acá en la last one? He baked a baked a cake for he, uh, the, his mother. Right. Okay, he baked a cake for his mother. Muy bien, excellent. Yes, Walter. No, no, there no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, vamos, come on, come up with the idea. That, that. The wife forced his husband to to make a dinner. Uh, to the man cooked to his wife. Así dijo, va? Yes. Okay, the man cooked to his wife. Uh huh. A dinner, I think. 
At dinner. Ah, oh, okay. A dinner. A dinner. Dinner. Okay, very nice. Good. Excellent. Okay. Acá podemos hacer varias, pero veamos, veamos las, las, las que yo había preparado, ¿verdad? Pero yo estaba consciente que acá podíamos hacer varias, ¿verdad? He built a house. She bought a car. He drove a car. Muy bien, esta la mencionamos, ¿verdad? She, uh, they cooked a cake. ¿Verdad? Ahí pusimos, puse they, pero era, era he, ¿verdad? Ok. He paint the, ball, the wall. Ok, very nice. No, no, no andábamos perdidos, ¿verdad? Ok. What did they do last Thursday? What did they do the last Tuesday? Sí, ella chocolate. Sí, chocolate. Ella chocolate. 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 La siguiente. He worked hard. He worked hard. The last two. He had a little homework to do. Okay. He worked hard last Tuesday. Okay. And Belen says he had a lot of work to do. Very nice. Good. What about the next? He He, he told. About his entrepreneur. How, how to understand the woman. <laughs> That's not fair. He told how to understand women. <laughs> they never going to understand us. Okay. Dicen que hay un libro que es para entender las mujeres, pero ni que... aún así. Pero que el problema es que vienen letras chiquititas, chiquititas. No, 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 es es alay. Okay, pero 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 cómo será, va? Digamos que Men are the complicated, no no not women. Yeah. No, 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 nosotros con lo más sencillo nos vamos. <ríe> nos da atrás que, que queremos comer ahí nos pone aquí, nos comemos. Pero las mujeres por un momento lo que, Hombres de Marte y mujeres de Venus. Lo, 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 lo que hoy se hace, ¿verdad? la mujer dice bien, bonito. Lo hace mañana, ya no le gustó. Ok. ¿Por qué? It's because maybe the women are change um, very fast. And the men get too used to that for some uh, personalities. And when the women change, the men get used to it to the last uh, behavior. So mm. maybe that is the complicated. We change oh. a lot. So in, you get used to it, like um, maybe very slow. Uh, mm. That is my point of view. Ah, okay, so so what happened is the US ladies uh, are accustomed to get may change a lot. Exactly. Or, or maybe like modernizar, I don't know. To update. Uh, exactly to update and the men's uh uh i don't know it's like uh take obviously take the change but uh in her in his time mm -hmm. okay <laughs> <Como dice>? mm, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> okay very nice miren debbie ya está pensativa por qué hace esta pregunta el teacher <laughs> Ok, very nice. Entonces aquí te dijimos, ¿verdad? He thought how to understand women. Very nice. Good. Ok, ¿qué otra? He thought about life. Mm, he thought a lot about um, his um, job. Ah, he thought about his job. Very nice. He watched the wa the wall. <laughs> he watched the wall. <laughs> okay, very nice. Good. Is the last one? Mm 
Just took a break. A uh, snack, a snack. Okay. Took or yeah. or what what bear is is this, is the best? Took the el tomo eh, refrigerio. The, o el comió un, un refrigerio. Uh, cualquiera de los dos. En inglés, para decir de, de, digamos, de almorzar, cenar, o cenar, o un snack, o, o un uh, break, porque también es un break, ¿verdad? Eh, usted puede decir have, eat, o puede decir take. Ahí que también en pasado, ¿verdad? Sería have, ate, or took. Ok, entonces sería he took, digo, a break, ¿verdad? A break or a snack. Oh, it's not very nice. A traditional coffee with bread, right? Eh? How do you say robar, teacher? Steal. A steal is a verb in present. Told. Told. Stole. Stole. Uh -huh. He stole the cookie. <laughs> stolen. He's, okay, he stole the cookie. Or oh, it stole the cookie, right? <laughs> he received the snack from the cat he <laughs> he received the snack from the cat okay i don't know why he took the violence <laughs> he didn't <laughs> stole anything <laughs> <laughs> okay very nice let's check oh it finished oh my god the rest of the senses didn't appear i didn't save the changes no guardé los cambios por eso no me aparecieron las últimas <laughs> okay very nice pero ya las hicimos ¿verdad? Ok, um, creo que en, en cuanto a eso no tenemos dudas, ¿verdad? Everything is clear, right? Aquí tengo otro verbo, vamos a ver si de esto creo que todos los conocemos, ¿verdad? Tenemos acá, por ejemplo, algunos verbos, ¿verdad? Tenemos answer, arrest, brush, carry, climb, close, come, cook, count, cry, dance, drop, finish, help, and frightened. Ok, y esto lo podemos convertir en, en pasado, ¿verdad? Todo esto lo podemos convertir en pasado. Ok, yo puedo acá entonces, ¿verdad? Answered. Right? Si selecciono acá en este, rested, right? Arrested. Si selecciono en este, brushed. Recordemos que el brush también nos puede servir para cepillar los dientes, ¿verdad? Yes, in the mouth. Ok, tenemos el carry que puede ser. Carrot, uh, carrot. Okay, tenemos el climb, climbed. Tenemos el close, que sería closed, ¿verdad? Tenemos el comb, que sería combed. El cook, que sería cooked. Tenemos el count, que sería counted, right? Counted. El cry, que tenemos cried el dance que sería danced el drop que sería dropped y si ustedes se fijan miren aquí le ponemos la double double verdad el ending porque tenemos consonant vowel consonant verdad tenemos el finish que sería finished el help que sería helped y el frightened que sería frightened Aquí se me quedó la F y la D afuera. <laughs> Frightened. Ok. Yes. What is the meaning of the fright? The, the last uh, verb. El frightened, ¿verdad? Frightened. Es atemorizar, ¿verdad? Y el, y el otro es atemorizado. Y como verbo es eh, miedoso. Mm, ok, thank you. Ok, very nice. Vamos al siguiente. Miren, tenemos la siguiente lista de verbos. ¿verdad? Todo esto es para que ustedes manejen todavía, ¿verdad? Porque a veces los utilizamos bien en presente, pero se nos olvida a la hora de utilizarlos en pasado. Es ¿eh? para que los practicamos, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. Tenemos el jump. Sería jumped. Jumped. El learn, que sería learned. ¿Verdad? El listen, que sería listened el live que sería lived el look que sería looked el open que sería opened 
El paint sería painted, right? Plant sería planted. Play, que sería played. Y tenemos este verbo, el pray, que es de orar, ¿verdad? Prayed. El pull, que sería pulled. Y el push, sería pushed. El remember, que sería remembered. Remembered, right? Return, que sería returned. Y el saved, que sería saved. ¿Verdad? Con esto creo que son bastante comu comunes. Y tenemos sí, estos sí. Otro, esta otra lista, que es la última ya. Sí, tenemos scream, que sería screamed. Show, que sería showed. Smell, que sería smelled. Smile, sería smiled. Start, que sería started. Stay, que sería stayed. El verbo stop, que sería stopped. El verbo study, que sería studied. El verbo talk, que sería talked. Talked. El verbo taste, que sería tasted. El telephone, telephoned. A travel, traveled. A walk, sería walked. A watch, watched. Y el work, que sería worked. Ok, very nice. Esos son unos verbos de los que podemos utilizar en pasado, ¿verdad? Ok, right now, do you don't have any question? No? Everything is clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Very nice. Sure. Yes. Y teléfono, why is a verb? Uh, eh, teléfono es que como hay algunos que pueden ser utilizados como verbos y como nombres, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, I found you, ¿verdad? Uh, uh -huh. Te llamé. Es decir, hey, te llamé, ¿verdad? Es como decir también, I called you. Y si te dice, no. telephone you, ¿verdad? hey, yo te telefoné, ¿verdad? Pero nosotros lo utilizamos como llamar también. Entonces, no hay problema. Y... Por eso es que es importante también lo que les mencionaba de aprendernos la estructura. Porque viendo la posición donde va, yo puedo interpretar si puede ser un verbo, si puede ser un nombre, o si puede ser un adjetivo. ¿verdad? Porque el verbo siempre lleva una posición específica. El adjetivo lleva una posición específica y el adverbio lleva una, una posición específica. Y yo aprendiéndome esa estructura, yo logro identificar dónde está cada cosa. ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Very nice. Uh, Adela, don't you have any question? No tiene una, una pregunta, Adela. No, teacher. Ok, Walter y Oscar. No, for this moment. Ok. Carlos, everything is clear? Ok. Vamos ahorita a trabajar de una... Uh, vamos a hacer una actividad muy, pero muy interesante, ¿verdad? Lo que vamos a hacer es eh, que vamos a trabajar con, en, en parejas. ¿Y qué es lo que vamos a hacer con lo que vamos a trabajar ahorita? ¿Verdad? Vamos a ir a eh, hablar, a generar una conversación. Vamos a generar una conversación. Pues no vamos a generar una conversación de de tres párrafos y ya, vamos a generar una conversation eh, utilizando, como ustedes ya, este tiempo ya lo vieron un poquito más detallado antes, yo aquí es un pequeño refuerzo, ¿verdad? Vamos a utilizar WH Question, vamos a utilizar el pasado, para hablar sobre lo que eh, nosotros hicimos, por ejemplo, el año pasado. Vamos a hablar sobre qué hicimos el año pasado para eh, la vacación, qué hicimos el año pasado para la Navidad, que hicimos el año pasado para eh, las vacaciones de, de Semana Santa, de Agosto, no sé, ¿verdad? Vamos a generar esas conversations y eh, la vamos a escribir. Hoy sí la vamos a escribir, ¿verdad? Porque el regresar la vamos a realizar en la clase. O sea, para que ustedes tengan ahí qué es lo que van a, a realizar, ¿verdad? Pero antes necesito que ustedes la vayan ordenando y que traten de, de utilizar English, ¿ok? Durante la conversation y el momento de crear la conversation, Traten de utilizar el English. 
Is it clear? Ok. De todas maneras, yo voy a andar supervisando ahí, ¿verdad? Si, si de repente ustedes escuchan que dice recording in process, significa que el teacher está llegando a observar, ¿verdad? Conversation about whatever. Just whatever about the last year. Van a hablar de lo que hicieron el año pasado. Mm. Para que sea más interesante, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, very nice. Y si le quieren agregar un poco de este año, está bien, ¿verdad? Pero que siempre se hayan pasado. Recordemos que en una conversación no necesariamente vamos a utilizar todo en pasado. ¿verdad? Podemos hablar en pasado y mezclar algunas cosas, unos tiempos en presente, una cosa en futuro, pero vamos a recalcar más el tiempo pasado. ¿Right? Ok, there we go. Uh, last year in past, I remember the last year was my birthday. I I hiking the pital. Uh, I'm I'm not sure what to say hiking in in past. Teacher. Teacher. Yes, yes. Walter, I have a question. Yes, tell me, tell me. Teacher, how to say hiking in pass? Hiking, hiking. Es lo mismo. Hiking. 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 Regular bear. Yes. No, es que, es que eh, cuando usted utiliza hiking, esa es una actividad. Oh. Entonces usted dice, I yes. went hiking. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, okay. okay very so, uh, la, the, last, the last year in, in, on, in, on my birthday, I went high, hiking the pital hiking, okay. from the Palma to the pital for celebrating my my 20 age or so 28 okay what well, no that for me about the last what, year um, what did you do on the last vacation my last vacation i don't remember state States home with my dad for quick sign sign with Mana Santa in, the, in, the, in what is the most important what is the most okay. did you have the last year? What is the most important moment did you have the last year? Oh, this this song cute. What? This song very cute. Ah, ah. Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> what is the most important moment that you have the last year? It's a good it's question. Good. You have to thinking. <laughs> yes. I am thinking about it. Mm, my first recuerdo, remember. The, first, um, 
my first the most memory group. Uh, my uh, me, my okay. best memory mm -hmm. that the, the last year is uh, the first birthday is the from my son the first birthday yes oh so cute <laughs> he turned one is one the, is the first is the first birthday How about you? I I was a better cheer. Done the year before. Science we could. Hmm? Science we could. Fine. Science. Since I could. Since I okay. Science we could go out. Science? Go uh oh, science we could. Hi. And the comprehension. Please it's a range in chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Como vamos? How's everything? Uh, is a conversation like that or, or is another activity? Uh, lo que pasa es que you're writing the conversation in the chat? Uh, no? No, no. It's in the chat only because I don't Understand what say. Uh, uh, what did uh, Adela said? Adela said, "See, yes. mm -hmm. it's the reason because I, I, I." Okay. Yes, it's a conversation said, about past activities. You're going to create mm -hmm. a conversation, then you're gonna go back in order to present to me in the main session. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But it's, 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 it's okay. The or why? Yeah, you if you can write in order to remember the conversation is better. Okay. Okay. Um, I asked the other question too. Yes. Okay. Te digo great. And how how you enjoy your uh, Christmas last Christmas? How you enjoy enjoy your your Christmas tree? Twenty-nine. 
Okay, I celebrate Christmas of the family. Mm. We cook, we cook together. With family? No, we cook together. We cook. And bon. Also, it's, it's, it's good on, on bonbon too. I know only Ros, El Rosario, San Martín, <laughs> and Lido. Lili, <laughs> Pequeña, Lido. Uh, the most common. The most common. Bam Bam, and I don't know what more. But you, your husband, uh, uh, he liked this, this day? Yes, he liked. Okay. I told you the cake was good. So, what, what, no, what did you do on, no, on, on Mother's Day? Oh. Uh. Only call call my mom because she she stay in USA. Oh. And, and always for her birthday I call her. Also one more day. My mom. Your mom. Too. Too. Yes, she is in uh, USA. Where your mother sleep? She lives in, I'm not sure the principals, uh, only say she stay in New Jersey, but the, Oh, my mom is in Houston. No, in San Antonio, no. Uh, San Antonio, creo. Sí, San Antonio. Yes, she, my mother, uh, she lived there with my other two brothers. Oh, me too. <laughs> How long have you not seen your mom? Repeat, please. How long uh, have you not seen your mom? Ah, uh, many years. Uh, let me see. From I have 18 years. Uh, I have uh, 10 years. Oh, 10 years. It's a lot. Yes, I don't see my mom to the the half of my life. <laughs> uh, what? Seven, she, she, 
She leaves you when you are a child. No, the half, o sea, la mitad de mi vida. When I uh, was, when I was uh, 70, 17, I think. I don't remember. Okay. But, Bye, ho, Sunday. I can see you again. This is my my call. Yes. <laughs> all 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 years is the same. Wished. But I I I I call my mom every week, and and this is this is good because we. We can talk with people stay so far to us, and it's not the same to to physical stay no. together. But, but you can. It, it, it's better to nothing. You can to call. <laughs> you, can, you can call for for your phone and and. And ask and asking he asking her uh, many many things about your life and and, and the end is is like similar when is she stay near. Yes, I think I the in the actuality the communication is much better when I went 2011 I don't remember exactly but I remember the, the what I don't know the first time when I saw my mom in a webcam ah yes I think this is was a uh, awesome moment. <laughs> yes, a long time ago, but the sen la sensación, no sé cómo se dice, <laughs> the sensation, no sé. <laughs> the feeling, uh, feeling. The feeling, uh, right, right. The feeling, whoa. But was someday. was great. Yes. Yes, I I I think. Yeah. No, surgery is 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 uh, uh, encuesta. So, uh -huh, surgery. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Question. How do you say yo tuve una cirugía? Surgery. Pero así está bien escrito. I had a surgery. Espérame que le voy a dar zoom porque creo que yo lo tengo muy. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está la opción aquí? A usted le está ahí porque creo que no, no veo la opción aquí para hacerle. Ajá, sí está bien. Sí, está bien. Surgery, yes, surgery. ¿Y si digo I was? <coughs> ah, ¿Puede? No, tiene que ser I had a surgery. Porque usted la tuvo, no porque usted la hizo. Oh, it's a good point. Mm. I had. I had surgery. Ok, si, si quiere poner I was, tiene que ser I was in a surgery. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Ajá, sí le había puesto, pero no estábamos seguras. Sí, era, sí, sí, puede, sí puede hacerlo también. No, ok. Puede okay. decir también doctors mania surgery. Para que los doctores hicieron una cirugía también, pues. En pasado, ¿cierto? Yes, en pasado. Okay. ok, thank you. I was in the hospital around 15 days because I had a surgery. Y le ponemos de qué? Um, eh, with the other activities, not the same. What do you like? What, what activity do you like? Do you like go around? I don't know. Uh, only walk with with your family. I like rest. 
rest in your only, phone with only family. Only rest, yes. I'm this is up in my house. Kid. Okay. Ah, this is what your sentence for the for the last 50 September you make a cake for your I husband. bought. I bought. <laughs> yes, I ah, bought a cake. You, you bought a cake. <laughs> yeah, I bought a cake. A, a, a bam -bam. With the with the scudo with the uh, national scudo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, the sing, sing. ¿Cómo sería oh, escudo, teacher? Hello. ¿Cómo es escudo? El escudo nacional. Ah, uh, national shield, yes. Ah, the national thing, okay. Mm -hmm. ah, pues, sí. El flag, el la bandera. Yes, yes. Okay. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Mm, I don't know. The... You stay home with your family for the Christmas and, and, yes. and 31 December. Yes. One day with my family and one day we were with his family. A family or your, or your husband. Oh. Yes. Pandemic setting. Like, um, a pandemic setting in our own It was a little chill that the chill of the forces we could go out. We could, we could, we could, we could go out a little more freely. Right. I don't know what to say. It was a great year, like the anterior. Antes de empezar. El año anterior, eh, uh -huh. de que podíamos salir más libremente. Ajá, okay. uh -huh, 2019, porque el 2019 al final fue que, que, que eso fue la pandemia. Uh -huh. Ok, great. Uh, and how to you enjoy your Christmas in 2021? I celebrate Christmas with no, aquí este weekly lo voy a quitar. Sí. ¿Eh? No va. No, no va. No te escucho bien. Quítelo, porque no. Uh -huh. No, siento que puede. Pueden cocinar juntos, algo así de decir. Ahí sale el Christmas cookie together en prepare for night has a family i i celebrate christmas has as a family no sin h as a family uh -huh. we pongale ahí we cook together Y aquí yo solo vas a preguntar, let me ask, did you work virtually or face to face mm, during the in all in the Thank you. 
que vas a preguntar algo. Es que siento que no va a darle la pues. pregunta. A ver, le una pues. la pregunta, let me ask you. Porque estamos hablando de Navidad y luego Ajá. pasamos a eso. ¿no? Va, entonces, ¿Qué esta la dejamos para después. Ajá. O antes. Ay, si querés, si querés antes. Sí, es mejor antes. Porque vamos, ah, entonces no vamos a quitar que... esta. Ajá. Entonces vamos a quitar esta para no la vamos a dejar más abajo acá. Y la vamos a dejar. Okay. Entonces aquí te voy a preguntar. Eh, yo... O sea, aquí vamos a contestar vos. Ahí. than the, the book activities. Yes, because the book is important to, to the pronunciation and vocal, vocabulary. Vocabulary, yes. But you need to speak, speak, speak for, for uh, training your brain to, to connect the uh, words. Yes. But I like, I like little by little we understand each other in this moment. <laughs> I, usually, I usually put uh, not news in English and I try to understand. Sometimes I understand nothing, but, but I try to listen. <laughs> And, and try to remember something word, but, but, but it's difficult. But this is a good, good way to to uh, try in your ear for listening. Yes. I. I read a book sometimes, not always. I sometimes read a book, but it uh, is a, a movie. Okay, Buddy. It, it's a movie. Ah, movie, okay. It's a, it's a As book. As I was, I see. Uh -huh. yeah. Y como ya la vi, o sea, es como que... <laughs> Ah, by the uh, all, all, of, all, all movies was made from a book. Always is better read. <laughs> I always, I always, um, I I always had wanted. Creo que sí, yo siempre querido. Ir a una fiesta, disfraz. I don't know how to say that. I always wanted to go. I always wanted. Mm -hmm. Oh, I always wanted to go a party with the customs. Custom, custom. And that's for Halloween. Customs, customs. 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. What else did you do? And and said trick and trick and trick and and no sé qué es la otra frase trick and trick. Mm, only that for my crazier moments. <laughs> I don't I I don't remember what 
I did crazy moments for me. I don't remember one. <laughs> I have to, <laughs> many moments. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember what I do. Mm, maybe some uh, about the the pre specialization. No, como five with the, it was, the, the it was online. The other <laughs> students. <laughs> no, it was online. <laughs> Is it university? Yeah, I have. I have some moments. What but in, in the university one once uh sin querer I <laughs> I how do you say rompi um uh, broke broke bro I don't know if you can use broke I broke an exam <laughs> in front of the teacher <laughs> teacher to, uh, yesterday you say the the thing the rasgar Ah, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Vamos a ver si la notaron. Vamos a ver si la notaron. Uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. si la noté. Desgarrar. Tear. Tear. Ajá, pero ¿cómo sería el pasado? Torn. Torn, oh. ¿verdad? I torn a teacher in front of the teacher. I know, I torn the exam in front of the teacher. <laughs> Once. Why? Why did you leave? What did you leave? ¿Por qué lo hiciste? Why? Why did you Why did you do that? Yeah, what do you do that? Me falta una palabra. No, what no, do you what do that? Do that? Ahí está bien, sí. What do you do that? Why, why, do, why do, you do, do you do that? Why? Why do you do that? Because I didn't, didn't get the note, the note or the grade that I want, wanted. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a, a joke. Uh, it was real, but I I did without thinking. <laughs> it was a joke, but but unconscious, it was real. unconsciously, <laughs> unconscious, unconsciously. It was La última respuesta que quitaron. Todo está en el paso. The singer tried to say. Because <laughs> we we seen some some songs and and we we don't know what the singer wants to say yes because uh, only only so the so letters we can understand more more what uh, more clear definition about the letters yes that's what i say it depends of the gender of the music. The yes. 80s uh, is, is more uh, is more clear. The lyrics are more clear than that the actuality songs. I don't know. Yes, of course. I, I think so. Some kinds of music is fast and another are slow. <laughs> Yes. Obviously, the, the slow music is more easy to to learn to to, to learn and interpret and practice, the practice, yes. also. And practice, learn, and understand the lyric. But I don't know, teacher. You finish already. We talk about uh, the todo un poco. I don't know how to say. We talk about everything. 
A bit about okay. everything. Okay, we'll talk about, about everything. <laughs> yes, very good. And I've been checking all the groups and all the groups are the same. They got inspired. Well, you got inspired and you start talking about uh, different topics. And that's good. That's excellent. Right now, we're <laughs> going to the main session, okay? Okay. Okay. recorded. Okay, very nice. I'm really happy because I was listening to you in the conversations and you get inspired. You got inspired. And that's good because um, you were more talking, right? And having conversations and having fun, laughing about some craziness that you made in the past and something that you did. And for you, was funny or was interesting or was like embarrassed. And that's good. Okay, right now, I'm just going to listen to some of you in order to um, listen to your conversations that you have. What about uh, Rosibel? Who do you work with? I work uh, with Adela. Oh, with Adela. Okay, very nice. Um, can you please... Uh, uh, have the conversation here in the main session in order to the rest of the class listen to you at the moment of talking. Okay. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Hi, Rosibel. How are you? You're, you're, you're seeing my screen. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can watch the screen, yeah. Okay. Uh, Hi, Rosibel, how are you? Oh, fine, and you? It's okay. I haven't seen you for a long time. How was the beginning, the 2021 year? Uh, it was a funny but stressful too, because I started the new year with the new objectives in my life, but the stressful for the pandemic. Uh, like improving my job, traveling to another country, study English, and how about you? It was a better year than the year before science. We could go out a little more friendly. It's true. You work face to face or virtually? At the beginning of the year, I work, I worked virtually, but in June I returned little by little to the school. In my case, what is saying in June, we start in the office, but only two days. The rest of the days was a uh, virtual and what's what 
And what was your Christmas celebration? I celebrate Christmas has, as a family that cook together and prepare for a night. And you, how I enjoyed your last Christmas? I share with my family, uh, we cook and wait till wait at midnight for God the home and pray to God. How well celebrating with the family is better. Yes, it is. You are the reason. It's a pleasure to share with you. Me too. Okay, very nice. Awesome. Very good. It was a really interesting conversation because you were talking about uh, your job, right? For example, that you go, you work virtually and some of you had two, two days face-to-face uh, -face and other days virtual. Okay. Very nice. Awesome. Good. Uh, now let me listen to uh, the another team. I think it was uh, Yvette. You work with, uh, let me check, Vanessa, right? Okay, awesome. Very nice. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Hello, Yvette. Hello again. Hello again. I really, I really have fun with this activity. <laughs> yeah, me too. I have, have fun. Uh -huh, that's good. That's fun. good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yvette. Um, can you tell me what is the most important moment did you have the last year? Um. Uh, Solo leo o lo vuelvo a decir así, natural. Whatever. Uh, my first uh, and my best memory is was the, the first uh, birthday for my son. We have a, a, a little party with my club family and he, he eat cake for the uh, very first time. Eight. He, he ate. ate cake, he right? Ate. He ate cake. And he loved it. And the last year I was in, in home office. And okay. I like the experience because I invite it, you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's more uh not free from the traffic. Okay. And oh. I I support my 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 son. I I can watch uh, uh, his first step. Okay, no, oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, and for me, the most important moment was my graduation. I got the industrial engineering grade and was a unique experience. Also was a quickly event about the I don't know if you can say COVID protocol teacher I don't know, but we COVID, like that. yes COVID COVID, COVID yes. protocol protocol yes but, COVID is a general term oh, okay. but, and I enjoy that moment with my family and friends and have a I had a, a lot of emotions emotion <laughs> but it was it was pretty pretty nice <laughs> and so, then event what is the saddest moment did you have the last year i was in the hospital around uh, 50 uh, 50 days uh, because i had a, a surgery and the recuperation was painful and long my husband uh, support uh, me in these days and uh, support the the, the our uh, son. Okay. And, and I don't work. Ah, for, yeah. for, uh, you rest. <laughs> uh, for, I rest for uh, one one month. Okay, a lot of time. <laughs> 
Okay. Um, for me, the saddest moment was when my grandfather grandfather died because he was sick. I think uh, it it was COVID. I don't know. Oh. So we went to to his house then with my family. And the last question uh, was uh, after the sad moment, what is the crazier moment this you had the last year? <laughs> the last year uh, I celebrate Halloween. <laughs> Only my husband and I. Only two in the, in the house. And I, I dress it with that uh, with costume and um decorate uh, some decoration in, in the the house, house. The house. The house. Yeah. Okay. It sounds it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> so I have uh, I had a have a moment that uh, once in the university I, I turned an exam <laughs> from the, the teacher, but it was an unconsciously. I tried to make a joke because I ha I had a know that I I didn't want, but it was real in the final. <laughs> then I faced it the, the exam <laughs> to try to, to fix it. <laughs> it was. <laughs> okay, thank you, Yvette. It was a thank pleasure you, to work well. with you. <laughs> thank you. That's okay, cool. very nice. Awesome, very good. Really interesting. Uh, you were talking about um, sun important. It's an important aspect that you made in the past. And of course, it, it called attention about the, the action that Vanessa did to uh, the teacher, right? You tore the paper in front of the teacher or the son because you didn't get the grade that you really wanted. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, uh, in, in the case of uh, this course, so what, what are you going can, to do? Are you going I to can. break the, the laptop? I can do that. <laughs> No, I can do that. <laughs> Only I, I do, I, I do, I don't make the the homework. <laughs> this uh, is my. How do you say como re, cuando se revelan? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. It's like when they uh, reveal against revela. me, right? Got... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very nice. Good. Yeah. Okay. Vamos con el next group. Uh, Carlos with with David, right? Walter with Deviva. Yes. Okay. We yes. Walter. Yes, Walter with Debbie. Yes, teacher. We can't uh, write a conversation, but we, <laughs> we didn't you know. write, teacher. We uh, focus and speak, and <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you didn't write. You just focus on speaking. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very nice. For example, Debbie told me. Uh, she puff a K, a blue K the last 50 September because the same day is the birthday of his, his husband. Oh, okay, very nice, good. Okay, you're going to make the conversation in a way as, as speaking, right? Yes. Okay, very nice. Let's do it. Okay. What did you do on the on your last vacation, Walter? For the two last vacation, um, for same weeks, I stay at home with my dad and try to rest. The same for the August holiday states with my dad and friends uh, in the Christmas and in the years I visit my uncle and, and celebrate a big party with a lot of food. Mm -hmm. and, what do you what do you do um, on your last birthday? Did you do? Did you do? What do you do on your last birthday? 
uh, in my last birthday, I worked and my co-workers celebrate my birthday with me. And at night, I have a, a dinner with my family. Awesome. Um, what did you do on your on Mother's Day? For the last Mother's Day, I called my mom because she stay far from me. She stay now in USA, and. Uh, I always for the Mondays I call, call her. Uh, we have a common team with our moms because my mom is far of me too. After 17 years ago, I think, I don't remember. And we talk about music, <laughs> the lyrics of music. Okay, tell us. <laughs> okay. Just the ball, I uh, learn English, listen to the music in the same time, uh, saw the lyrics. To understand the lyrics, because some lyrics, uh, Ay, ¿cómo se dice? We, when we listen, it's not the same when we read. So, it depends the gender of the music and something like that. Or depend of the, the just the singer or the song. We, we talk about because some singers don't speak correctly, they use uh, informal English. Yes, exactly. And finish only that, teacher. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, really interesting to listen to the conversation you have because um, you were trying to talk real things and you were creating conversation as normal as in Spanish, right? But in this case, in English, and that's good because you were talking about things you did, uh, things you were trying to create, uh, things that you wanted to happen like this, and that's good, right? Because you were talking about past activities and now you notice how important is simple past, right? Yes. It's really important, yes. For tomorrow, I uh, know tomorrow is Saturday, yes? Yes, teacher. Teacher, we have two rest. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like, I feel like motivated in order to give you classes tomorrow, but no, yes, I'm gonna give a free. Okay, tomorrow free day because the teacher want. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. <Thank> you. <laughs> yes, I always think about my students. Okay, very nice. So uh, for the, uh, the next class, which is on Monday, we're going to work with the second conditional, okay? So yeah, now we're gonna start working with second conditional on Monday, okay? So come prepare because we're going to have a practice about the usage of first conditional because it's a real important topic in order to use it, okay? Very nice. Okay, students, uh, I don't know if you have any question before we leave. Everything is clear like the desires that you have to be out of the class right now. <laughs> okay, very nice, good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the attendance list. As soon as you listen your name, please send me present, okay? Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuera. Present. Good. Aminta Renea Figueroa de Manzano. Belén Batre Garcia. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Debbie Asmín Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Very good. 
Domingo Alexander González, Ever de Jesús Candray Montano, José Roberto Martínez Bernabé, Leticia Guadalupe de Miranda, Mariano José Pacas, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera, Rosemary Ventura del Huello, Rosibel del Carmen López, Very nice. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Sonny Vettel Barenga. Present. Ok. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present. Very nice. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. And Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Ok, let me check uh, the students. Um... Vanessa, you're going to stay with me a few minutes, okay? Just a few minutes. Sí, <laughs> Yeah, just a few minutes. No more than, than, than 30 minutes. No, nah, just kidding. No more than okay. five minutes. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay students, so see you on Monday, right? Because tomorrow is Saturday. You have free. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye, little kid. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Okay, give me a chance. Give me a chance. I'm gonna. Okay, I have to remove the students. <laughs> okay, right now. Yes. Okay, ready. Okay, Vanessa, this is um, a space in order. Let me check if the camera is working. Yeah, I think my computer is nice. Well, my internet now can work better. Yeah, I think. Okay. Um, this is a space in order to give you like a reinforcement if you need something about the topic or everything is clear like water, so it's not a problem. You should tell me, teacher, this is clear. I have, I don't have any doubt. But if you want to uh, have like a reinforcement in something you know, or anything that you need, just let me know. Reinforcement. Reinforcement, yes. Mm, okay, give me a second. Reinforcement. When we use an... Yeah, yeah, thing. When we use uh, expression of uncertainty, it, 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 is, it was so clearly for me. Ah, uh, expression of uncertainty. Uncertainty. Uncertain. Mm -hmm. Uncertainty. Give me a chance in here. Okay. When we talk about uh, expression of some uncertainty, we're talking about uh, when we talk about something that we're not sure about, like, is it clear? Like, for example, we are trying to but tell. This topic was uncertainty for me. <laughs> not clear for me. But... <laughs> uh, it was uncertainty for you. Uh... Okay, yes. Yeah, it was uncertainty. Yes. You were with many doubts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, when, when you use this expression of for sanctity is because you want to talk about um, something that you don't real uh, don't really know the correct aspect of the situation. For example, if you want to talk about a something a problem that is happening and you want to provide a solution, so you're going to talk about something that you think is not going to happen or something is going to happen, but it's not like totally clear for you, okay? okay. And for example, uh, if you listen to the expression as as far as I know, uh -huh. it's a way to say, bueno, lo que yo sé, ¿verdad? Es como decir lo que yo sé. Pare o sea, como lejos. Yes, pero cuando esta, esta, esta combinación de as far as I know, si usted la traduce diría tan lejos como yo sé, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Si usted la traduce literalmente. Uh -huh. Pero no, esta, esta expresión no se traduce literalmente, sino que it's like a combination that of words and now has a meaning, like, which is, uh, bueno, lo que yo sé, va. Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And as if you say. As far as I know. As far as I know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Como decir, bueno, lo que yo sé. As far as I know, uh, the class finished at 10. Yes, Estamos... teacher. <laughs> ah, ok, ya, ya ve. Ya están los tips ahí, va. Ok. Teacher, as far as I know, the class finished at 10. Okay. Yes. But as you know, <laughs> have no. some minutes in. I the don't know. <laughs> ok, very nice. Y okay. también tenemos, por ejemplo, el otro topic que dice, I wouldn't like to say this for certain. Esa es una I, forma como decir, I wouldn't like to say this for certain. I wouldn't want to say I this for certain. Like. I wouldn't like. Wouldn't. Like to say this for certain. Certain is certeza. Sí, ajá. Uncertain o sin certeza. Certain, certain. Change. Entonces una forma como decir, bueno, no me gustaría decir que esto será así, va, o como decir, bueno, no quisiera que esto pasara, o no quisiera que esto fuera así. Entonces, like pero yo certain. usted puede decir, por ejemplo, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but you're going to have problems if you don't um, get early to your job, por ejemplo. Okay. No quisiera decir esto como algo real, va, que puede pasar. Pero si no llega al trabajo temprano, va a tener problema. Ahí sí. Entonces, te And you can change the verb say or the verb like. O uh, this expression. Sí, ahí puede decir, I wouldn't think this as a certain. Ahí lo puede combinar, dependiendo lo, del contexto en el que usted está hablando. It's according to the context you talk, so you can change it. I can say, I wouldn't like to... To, to tear the exam for the certain. <laughs> I would like you... to tear the exam for this. <laughs> yes. But you have to, to give me a good grade. Good a note. good grade. Okay. But in this case, I wouldn't <laughs> like to tear. It's not. You wouldn't, I wouldn't like to break the computer for certain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actualizado. <laughs> yes, actualizado. Sí, porque como no lo voy a hacer eh, en escrito, así, digamos, en paper. <laughs> So you're going to make it in a computer. So you're going to take your computer and throw yeah. it down. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Y luego tenemos el it's better than likely, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando decimos it's better than likely es como eh, bien, bastante desafortunado. Es sí. probable. Ajá. Eh, mm -hmm. O es poco probable ¿verdad? Like que algo pase, right? Okay. Entonces. Um, Yo pensé que era como que no le gustaba. Porque va. Ah, Entonces no sé. Ahí sí. me es que hay, hay ciertas palabras que son bien diferentes a lo que nosotros pensamos cómo se utilizan, ¿no? pero como el sufijo a veces eh, dice lo contrario o la convierte de otra manera, y en este uh -huh. caso tiene sufijo y prefijo. ¿no? La iglesia que no le gusta. Ajá, ajá. Gustar, no gustar, ¿verdad? Y es, uh -huh. y es poco probable, ¿verdad? O, o algo uh -huh. que no, no, no pasa nada. ¿Y si dice solo likely? Ah, uh, es probable. Likely oh, wow. to. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yo creo que todo lo demás está cl claro, ¿verdad? Um, God, I think as far as I know, yes. <laughs> yes, very nice. <laughs> I think yes. Okay, very nice. So, as far as I know, you really want to go to bed and sleep. Because... Uh, yes. <laughs> I have okay. a hard day. <laughs> yeah, you had a hard day. Okay, very nice. Only, only you do rest this day. <laughs> yes. Thanks God I rest today. But <laughs> it was not my my situation. It was because um the, the situation was happening days before about the raining. But mm. today it didn't rain. It didn't rain. So do you have another job? Yes, I have with three different institutions, two universities and <laughs> yes, in, here with the uh, English Corporativo. And of course, I have another job, which is about business, but I have to, I have crazy days. Sometimes I come to class and I almost uh, thinking, <laughs> thinking about one thing and another thing. Sometimes I got confused about the classes. I, I think I'm talking about another group and yeah, because I don't know. Many things in my face, in my head, that I get confused. <laughs> okay, you have too, too much to think. <laughs> yes, and I have to be very well prepared because sometimes I have 
so tired days. I have like days that I really just want to sleep. But yeah, when if, if I rest one day, I got energy enough for the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, very nice. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, bye bye. Good night. See bye, you. Bye. Good night. And rest. <laughs> okay, thank you. You too. <laughs> bye. Bye.